All right, chat, Jack Doherty just got some scam allegations. Uh, very surprising news. I can't believe he would do something like this. Jack Doherty scams fans after realizing his career is over. 10 minute video, locked in chat, let's see. I know which one I'm buying, I'm dropping a bag on it and we're all getting rich together, guys. I'm not selling until it's at 100 million market cap. I'm going up 100, 200, 300 X, baby, let's go. I mean, the desperation here is just real, and what makes things just even more laughably stupid is how much this coin of his flopped. Because let's just put things into perspective here. Remember when Boogie2988 was tricked into promoting this pump fun pump and dump? Well, his coin did so much better than Jack's. And I mean, Jack's the guy who's allegedly pulling tens of thousands of viewers live every stream. But we'll get back into that later on. Because it hasn't even been two months since this IRL streamer destroyed his career by live streaming himself crashing his mclaren because he was reading his chat while driving meanwhile just minutes before that he foreshadowed everything by saying oh i'm probably gonna crash i'm most likely going to crash this car but that didn't stop him from reading the chat while driving yo i'm most likely going to crash this car but why did he put that exact moment that, that didn't stop him from reading the <laughs> chat while driving as it was pouring rain and as if things weren't bad enough from before he injured his friend doing this then showed absolutely zero regard for his well-being and even had his friend film him being upset about crashing his mclaren gotta get the angles so he buddy use this for clickbait i mean this was definitely one of those rare moments where people on the internet gathered from all walks of life and they just all agreed on one thing this guy really sucks and kick they actually did something about it, as they later announced that they permanently banned him. And I'm actually kind of surprised that he's still banned on Kick, because Kick, they announced countless times they're going to permanently ban X person and X person, yet they unbanned them shortly after. Fousey is a very recent example of this. But I guess this had Jack kind How of shocked, Fousey as not he banned? even thought that he was going to be getting his account back pretty quickly. You have to take care of yourself. What happened with the live, sh live stream you got kicked? You got banned. Why? It's suspended. I'm fine. I'm fine. So how are you going to do your poverty? I will. I'll get on banned. Don't worry. Well, that that's actually sad. Him talking to his mom. That's sad. That aged poorly, at least as of recording this video. So originally he thought the only con- Bro, his mom's probably so scared. I can't imagine how she feels. Consequences he was going to have was the total McLaren, but he also lost his main platform, which was Kick. And Kick, for him, acted like a funnel for all of his other degeneracy. So I guess now he's starting to get desperate, and he's now pivoted into a new type of degeneracy, which is, I guess, using his audience to pump and dump microcap meme coins. You know, we're really starting to reach the depths of influencer hell when they start promoting micro cap meme coins, especially the ones they allegedly create. So here's the full first announcement where he stated this. All right, I'm seeing everyone making a ton of money off these meme coins and I want in. So tonight, guys, I'm going live and I'm buying a meme coin. I already know which one I'm buying, but all I know is I'm going to be making straight cash, baby. So if you guys want to be a part of it, join my live. I'm going live at 12 a.m. Eastern time and uh, I'm buying a meme coin. I know which one I'm buying. I'm dropping a bag on it and we're all getting rich together, guys. I'm not selling until it's at 100 million. I'm not going to lie. If someone got scammed on Jack Doherty's meme coin, it is so deserved because who's actually going to buy a meme coin from Jack Doherty. Market cap, I'm going up 100, 200, 300 X, baby, let's go. Yeah, dude, we're gonna make so much money, dude. When in reality, most people are gonna lose money because Pump Fun is the definition of a PVP server. And anytime an influencer brings newcomers into the cesspool of a website, it's safe to say they're gonna get fleeced by the seasoned degenerates. But I mean, hey, I guess Jack saw that kid just rug pull a bunch of people for like $30,000 and thought maybe that he could do better. But back to his promotion video, I mean, this behavior is nothing new when it comes to scumbag crypto influencers, but something to notice here is he did claim that he already knew what token he was going to buy, but he didn't want to reveal that yet. So obviously he wants to front run his audience, but when he went to buy the coin, he ended up buying the top. McLaren crash, baby. You guys already know McLaren. Uh, I crashed McLaren, so. Uh... This dude dropped a coin, McLaren crash. That is so scummy. Gotta buy McLaren coin, baby. I'm buying this, I don't give a I think they thought him buying this on stream would have had way more effect on the volume than what it actually did. But either way, it seems like his friends and a bunch of other crypto bros just completely front ran him here. So one could only assume that he was behind the token as number one, making a McLaren crash token two months after the incident happened. This is not at the top of mind for anyone anymore. 
And then number two, he mm. said he already knew which token he was buying before the token even launched. So, I mean, if you just put two and two together here, uh, is this crime? And I mean, just looking at the wallets here, there's actually a couple of wallets that managed to pocket like 20 to 30 grand. So overall, this could have been like a $50,000 win for him, depending on how many wallets him and his friends had. But obviously, this couldn't be a one-time thing for him. He's already established himself as the pinnacle of scumbags. So why not just milk whatever his audience has left? Or just like a Wait, so he made 50K off the scam. That's so pointless, bro. This guy's so rich. Jack Doherty's so rich. He does not need 50K. That's fucked. A few more drops because this first video, that was roughly, what, five to six days old? Well, over the last few days, he's now live streaming himself launching another meme coin that also failed miserably. Not only that, he's also raising funds for another one as we speak tonight. Because, you know, I guess third time's a charm, but... Why did it pause? Uh, Come on, you're an idiot if you're putting your money into anything that Jack Doherty is doing. At this point, you deserve to be scammed because it's not like this is a guy who's ever branded himself as an honest person with credibility. But next exactly. up, you have him announcing that he's going live with the biggest meme coin stream ever. Okay, guys, today's gonna be the craziest day in crypto meme coin trading history. I'm very- Oh, hell nah. If you see this and buy whatever he's talking about, well deserved. You deserve to get scammed. I'm very sorry. Very excited for today. I'm holding to a $100 million market cap on live. So make sure you guys tune in. You don't want to miss it. It is going to be crazy today. And uh, I'm more than excited, guys. Drop your soul addresses down below. I'm going to be sending soul to you guys all day before the stream. Let's go, baby. Yeah, it's getting sad out here. Like, this is straight depressing. <laughs> so he's making a bunch of videos like this, tweeting a bunch. So surely this coin will do better, right? Well, he finally goes live and he's just standing there with his laptop beside a jacuzzi asking OF girls who work for him to twerk for his meme coin stream. So then he can extract as much value as possible from his audience. Tammy, are we up? Damn, that's my boyfriend. Wait, is this illegal? <laughs> hey, shake some ass. Oh my, dude. I mean, like, you would think this is a parody because any rational human being would think there's no way someone would actually put their money into whatever this guy is making. But this one went to like $900,000. You had a crypto project that ran to a $900,000 market cap, launched from a laptop after the guy has previously scammed people. Right on, we're losing hope for humanity, but I guess DGENs are going to DGEN. But Either way, this coin went lower than the last one, which is kind of expected because you saw how the first one flopped. I mean, he was saying, we're gonna go to $100 million, and then he got 1% of the way. So here, he was going for $100 million again and didn't even get to 1% of the way. And what makes this a little bit more funny is he promoted this one way more and didn't even make it to 1% of his big goal. And this really feeds into that narrative that his audience might not be real as he's been accused for botting a majority of his viewers over and over again which would make sense because who can stand this guy okay jack the hordy with the views look at robot views okay uh let's see stable ronaldo okay let's see oh oh whoa whoa, whoa. yeah uh that doesn't look like ten thousand. feel like it's because who wants to get seen in a Jack Doherty live stream chat. Some people are sitting in there. It makes a little bit more sense for awful streamers like never put your trust in anyone with that haircut. Yo, should I shave my head? Johnny to have viewers over this guy because I mean, hey, at least Johnny's audience, they actively try to get Johnny arrested or hurt. It's like a game for them. But Jack, he's just so boring and unlikable that barely anyone even wants to try to mess with him. Hence the desperation for pumping low cap meme coins now. And as you can see by this chart of this recent coin, this didn't end well for 99% of the investors here. Investors. I mean, honestly, you can't even jokingly call it investing because it's just straight up gambling. And hey, if you're an adult, have fun. Knock yourself out. Just know the odds are heavily stacked against you, especially when you have influencers involved, because often they have things set up to extract as much value as possible. I'm just saying all the cards are stacked against you, but Jack is now at it again right now as he's currently raising funds from his audience for a pre-sale and the people are apparently clowning on him for raising a grand total of 838 dollars which again really enforces wait he scammed his audience and he made clowning on him for raising a grand total 
total of $838, which again really enforces the fact that is does he even have an audience? And this seemed to be accurate uh. until one address started sending him a bunch of Solana totaling around 10 grand. And as of the recording of this video, he now has raised about $30,000 from his audience for whatever this meme coin project is. And I say audience lightly because it's only like a handful of addresses that have sent him the majority. And just to, you know, reinforce the previous statement, if you're sending money to this guy as an investment, you deserve to lose it. This isn't even a sophisticated scam. It's just lighting your money on fire. And sure, he might airdrop a bunch of tokens that are temporarily worth more than what people invested invested into it for like 30 whole seconds. But as you see by these previous charts, it just turns into a straight PVP zone where the price just races to the bottom because everyone's trying to get out before the next person. Literally like the two previous charts here. He's now deleted all of his tweets in regards to that, but the blockchain, it's there forever. And we can see that Jack transferred roughly 97 Solana to this address, which is roughly $22,000. He sent it from this one to this one. So, uh, who knows what's gonna happen there? Is this just like a secondary account of his that he's just shuffling money to? Man. Or is he going to launch a new meme coin project that's going to do this again? Wow, look at that. That right there is retail getting beat up by retail. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's just so sad it's depressing but hey do you know what's not depressing and worthless a matt city mat or a mouse mat from a city near you because we're now doing a 20 percent off site-wide sale damn don't buy jack doherty coin buy my coin no, no that was a joke by the way guys